In this video, we've got a wild week of weather to talk about with an atmospheric river of rains coming back for the Pacific Northwest, monsoonal rains into the desert Southwest that'll spread into Texas, and we have almost record high temperatures for the Great Plains in the midsection of the country, a developing low pressure system off the Northeast, and then monster hurricane sam out here into the atlantic getting dangerously close to bermuda as well as two new tropical storms that are going to be developing this week welcome everyone this is pal ponder on weather make sure you hit the like button to let youtube know you value my content and that way they can share it with others also, hit the subscribe button. I put out a lot of content. I do daily videos. I've almost done 600 videos now, and I would love, I'm almost, I'm almost near 80,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. And I would love to reach 90 or if, if not 100,000 by the end of the year. When you reach 100,000, you get a silver plaque a creator award from YouTube. And that would make a fabulous Christmas present. <laughs> so let's get to it. Uh, we've got some a lot to talk about. Let's look at the North American view of uh, this developing system for Monday, uh, September the 27th. And we've got an atmospheric river of moisture coming down here off the Gulf of Alaska. Not just one, but another one that's forming back behind it. So we've got plenty of rains coming for the Pacific Northwest. We have also got a developing low pressure system out here in the mon into uh, the desert southwest. It's technically still monsoon season until the end of the month. So that's going to end in a big way with more rains coming back for them. And this will slowly move over time and start spreading rains into Texas. And then we also have that developing low, low pressure system off the northeast coast. That's going to bring some cooler conditions and some rainier conditions uh, for them. So let's look at the setup. There's the cool front coming in off the Pacific Northwest. The rains will come back in a big way for uh, Washington and Oregon and, and Northern California. Those will spread into Idaho. You can definitely see at, at times there's enough colder air, especially in the morning times, that you could see a, some, some mixed bag in the higher elevation. So it's not out of the question. You could see, see some snow flying. There's that developing low pressure system that's gonna be developing today. It's gonna to take its uh, time to get its act together, but it'll eventually spread more rains coming back into places like Phoenix and Tucson. You're talking, you're like the second and almost third wettest monsoon of all time. So that's not out of the question with these rains coming in, we could eclipse uh, the wettest monsoon on record. It's, it's gonna be close. Uh, in places like Phoenix into uh, into Tucson area, those rains will spread into parts of New Mexico today. But yeah, there is that developing cold front off here in the northeast that'll spread some cooler conditions uh, for them as we go through deeper into the week. So there's your high temperatures for today, man. That high pressure system just starts to bake. I mean, like you're at, you're going to be asking yourself, what happened to fall? <laughs> Temperatures soar. I mean, we're almost 90 in Dallas. We were at 91 yesterday. We're going to be in the low 90s in Oklahoma, if not mid 90s in parts of uh, Kansas and Nebraska. Those low 90s will spread all the way into Dakota. So, yes, some record breaking high temperatures will fall today, and I think even more tomorrow. There's the cooler shot of air with the rain and the cooler air, 60s. Or parts of Seattle and uh, Portland, that'll start creeping into Northern California. We've got widespread 80s uh, for them in California. That cooler air will continue to intensify and spread uh, eastward, getting into uh, Idaho uh, as we get into uh, deeper into the week. So as we transition to Tuesday, there's that low pressure system continue to push further inland and it'll bring colder air so with that colder air it'll bring more snow so the, all those blues showing up on the map that is your mixed bag of precipitation that could fall in the higher elevations as we have that developing low pressure system will start to send pulses of energy and rain showers into arizona into new mexico getting into parts of colorado and utah 
That'll send the first piece of energy into parts of Texas with some isolated scattered showers and th uh, storms into Texas, into Oklahoma and Louisiana. There's that cool front that's gonna bring that cool shot into the Northeast, bringing some rain out ahead of it in parts of the Mid-Atlantic states and along the I-95 corridor as we get into the day on Tuesday. But man, in the middle, we've got those record high temperatures to talk about. We'll probably even have more record highs and parts of uh, parts of Texas, but especially getting into the midsection of the country and even in the Dakotas. I mean, look at that, 95 for North Dakota at the end of September. That's not fall, guys. That is in the deep and the heart of summer. That is well above average temperatures. But we got relief on the way because we got a lot of cold air uh, that's going to be knocking on the door as we go into Wednesday. But out ahead of it, man, the Pacific Northwest with the rain and the cooler conditions, that's why these are high temperatures, widespread 60s and 50s uh, showing up on the map. The 80s will be replaced by the 70s into much of California. That'll spread into Nevada, going into Idaho, getting into ports of uh, Utah here as this will continue depressed eastward as we go through uh, the meat week and then there's the low, there's the cooler conditions filtering in into parts of the northeast with that cold front uh, but yeah you can definitely see it into the southeast you're going to be starting to heat up in a big way because you're going to miss out on a lot of the rain that's going to be happening uh, this week so as we transition to Wednesday uh, there's that first energy that pulls through it kind of resets into the Pacific Northwest more rains come back into Seattle but heavier rains will start to intensify over the desert southwest and start to elongate as it sends pulses of energy uh, throughout the week. So more he he uh, heavier rains will start to creep into Texas, some definitely much needed rains in that part of the country, and this will start spreading. So as that cold front pushes and starts taking relief from those record high temperatures, it, we got some rain showers to contend with out ahead of it. It doesn't really look too bad as far as like on the severe front, but we got some definitely uh, welcome rains knocking on the door uh, by midweek as there's that cold front that's going to be safely pushing down off the northeast and bringing those cooler conditions uh, for them. So there's your high temperatures for uh, Wednesday. Man, there's that cooler air, that cool shot. These are highs. Again, widespread 60s and 50s start pressing in into uh, Wyoming, uh, getting into uh, Montana here. There's the Dakotas, no more 95. We're talking 70s, so a massive swing in temperatures. So you got two days of potential record high heat, and then we got relief on the way. We're still soaking in the 90s uh, for parts of uh, Texas as these pulses of energy will slowly start creeping in into your neck of the woods underneath a lot of those uh that low pressure system in the desert southwest you'll you'll experience uh those below average temperatures uh under that low pressure system as we transition during the day on wednesday there's that pulse of energy it starts to come out a little bit out of uh, uh phoenix this is technically the last day of monsoon rains that to qualify for being in the monsoon season so that heavier rains will start spreading into New Mexico, bringing some much needed rains for them. We've got parts of extreme drought, which I'll show you here in a little bit. And the heavier rains will be parked un over West Texas as we start spreading a little bit more ra rain and kind of more widespread rains, maybe not as much, but still welcome rains all over Texas into Louisiana, into Arkansas, into Oklahoma, into parts of Kansas. Even in Missouri, we'll start getting to the action. So you've had those higher temperatures uh, today, but we'll get replete relief by uh, midweek and the later half of the week as we transition. And then, as you can see, that second system comes in for the Pacific Northwest, with keeping that atmospheric river alive uh, for them with those below average temperatures and continual rain showers uh, for them. There's your high temperatures as we end the month in September uh, in the third quarter, as we see those cooler conditions will start to filter. Yes, they start to modify, but still under those rain showers and as they spread, we'll replace the 90s with the 80s 
in much of Texas as a lot of the clouds and the rains will start to take over and those cooler conditions, I mean, cooler, you're supposed to be like the high, normal high in Dallas now is like 84. <laughs> you know, this is 87 is technically still above average where it's not going to rain as in the southeast. And that's where it's not going to rain and you're going to be drier. You're going to be able to heat up. And so, yes, I do expect temperatures to reach 90 degrees in parts of Florida into the uh, into the southeast into mississippi and alabama going into georgia parts of the carolinas as we go through thursday there's your drought index now this updates every uh thursday so this is the latest one and we did we did have a major dent in the exceptional uh drought in parts of the desert southwest with almost that record breaking monsoon season we've had for them but man some of the drought as even uh, the, the exceptional drought and the, the, the strong drought, extreme drought, has started to creep in into uh, New Mexico and even uh, droughts creeping back into Texas and Oklahoma. So these are definitely welcome rains uh, for them. Any rain that we can get out here in the West is definitely welcome as those rains will start to make a, a as the atmospheric river rains start to come back for the Pacific Northwest, after they had such a brutal summer for them, that'll take a major dent in the drought going forward. So I expect probably two months from now, you probably won't even be dealing with drought in parts of the country off the West Coast uh, with all the rains that I'm expecting to come back for that region. But there's your high temperatures as we transition to the first day of October. And as we do, these 80s are almost somewhat normal that you would normally experience because we're in fall now and i think average high is like 82 by the time by the time a october for you know first rolls around but it's just gonna feel like fall and and but you're gonna be lower just because you're gonna have those all those those rain showers uh spreading into texas into oklahoma and especially uh new mexico is gonna pick up some welcome rains there's your rains as we transition to friday that low pressure system just kind of takes its time, just kind of really takes its time to uh, kind of rain itself out at times and send in pulses of energy into Texas. So the heavier rains will set up shop into parts of New Mexico, out in uh, West Texas, places like Austin, San Antonio, out here in Midland, Odessa, going to be picking up some heavier rains uh, this week, a little bit lighter amounts as you get into the Dallas Worth area, and then even lighter as you transition into East Texas, and even lighter as you get into uh, ports of uh, Louisiana, and then of course nothing by the time you get into uh, the Southeast. But as we go into Friday, that's when we have to take a look at the tropics. Uh, we've got Sam out here just going to be a major hurricane for a long time. Remember, Larry was out here for a long time as a major hurricane. Sam is going to be the same thing. And this is the setup by Friday. So this is only Monday. And we've been talking about Sam for a while now. It definitely gets dangerously close to uh, Bermuda. So they're going to have to be looking out for that. But I showed you that uh, trough and that uh, cold front off the northeast that's going to be able to swing uh, Sam safely off to shore and, and, and not going to be impacting the East Coast whatsoever. But we have to look at these two developing systems down here in the tropics. The National Hurricane Center has 80% chances of both of these developing right now. So by the time we get into Friday, possibly even as early as Thursday, we could be looking at two more named storms. That would be Victor as well as Wanda out here into uh, the Atlantic. Now notice how far south these are. I don't expect these to get actually pulled up and go out to sea. These will continue uh, moving off into the west, going towards the Caribbean. But the problem with these are it's going to run into a lot of sinking air that's over the Caribbean currently right now. So I think these will continue moving off to the west. But as it hits that sinking air, I am expecting both of these storms to kind of fizzle out and fade and really not really make it as a tropical entity by the time it actually gets into the Caribbean. It's difficult for a storm to make it all the way from Africa into the Caribbean, especially into the Gulf and holding it together uh, as we get into October. I do feel these will fade, but once we get into the second week of October, 
uh, this turns around in a big way, we have a lot more upward rising motion air instead of seeking air. And we'll definitely be looking out for the tropics as we get into that second week of October for more in close development uh, going into deeper into October. So as we transition to Saturday, there's the heavier rains will continue to spread into New Mexico as well as Texas. So it's going to be a wet week and a good chunk of Texas. It's not going to rain all day, every day. But still, you're going to have 30, 40, 50, 70 percent chances of rain, depending on where you live in Texas and New Mexico and even Oklahoma. As we go through the week, there's Sam. I mean, even on Saturday, the second, it's still there. So Sam is just a storm that's just not going to go away anytime soon and as we transition to sunday again more scattered rain it's the rains are still going to be around now it just can more or less kind of ring itself out over texas and as this will eventually spread into oklahoma and parts of missouri getting into illinois by then as we get into uh your sunday time frame so there's the rains for the week uh the heavier rains will extend into the pacific northwest with multiple systems coming in so easily one to three if not four to six uh, even isolated amounts of even higher of that for parts of the pacific northwest lighter amounts as you go into the interior regions unfortunately you're going to stay dry into california uh, but you do see those cooler conditions filtering in at least the first half of the week there's the heavier rains will start to spread into Arizona. So it's questionable if you pick up the wettest monsoon you know, of all time. So we have got four days, four shots of adding to those totals. Right now, you're second and third on the list into Phoenix and into Tucson. So either way, it's been a very wet monsoon season. And But those heavier rains, welcome rain spread into New Mexico with multi-inch rains and even higher amounts as you get into Texas. I think the higher amounts highest mounts will be setting up shop into west texas with easily two to four if not isolated up to six amounts six inch amounts for the week and even parts of central texas places like dallas you're probably more like into the one to two inch range over the course of the week and out of the question you can pick up you know isolated amounts of, of three inches possibly four but a good healthy rains of two to four inch swath for a good chunk of Texas and Oklahoma and to Kansas and even Nebraska as we get there, Sam safely off to sea. And there's the Northeast rains with that cold front and that trough that'll be parking, setting up shop with those cooler conditions uh, for them for the week. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video. Make sure you hit the like button to let people know you value my content. And don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel and catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.